the brother not only did he say Nando is expensive but he also said that I must buy him airtime he wants to use the airtime to call me and that time he wants to buy me a Range Rover hmm Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Perseverance Maremeni, also known as Madam Speaker, also known as the CEO of Self Love. Guys, today I have a story time for days. <laughs> Yo, Jehovah, please, guys, today they bring your popcorn and your slash puppy, okay? Because this one, I did a short video ne, about this relationship that only lasted for two weeks. The shortest relationship I've ever been into. Ne? And people are like, do part two, do part three. So this is the one long part. Anything that comes after this, the part two and three, will just be just secondhand information. This is the actual information. I'm going to start from the very beginning of how it started and how it ended. Guys, hey! So once upon a time, ne, I was at an event where I was speaking, you know, and uh, addressing issues issues that affect women ne? i don't expect a guy to even look anywhere in my direction because i am a red flag like i honestly believe that when i go to an event and not even on an event even on my videos like for some guys like i'm such a red flag i'm like red flags all over because of the type of content that i create like oh this one bitter angry this one bad influence this one so because of that I go do my thing with peace in my heart, knowing that I know I don't even have to be like, oh, you know, potential. No. <laughs> so, can't I don't know that day, yeah, uh, there will be a potential brother, bang. Hey, I get to the event, guys. I speak. And it was like proper. When I was done, uh, when I descend the stage now, this guy, he's uh, like, yeah, uh, you're the girl, you're the one. Let's see. Then, then he started having, you know, you know. The one thing that for me is such a turn on is when somebody is confident. Con like literally when you, you hear me speak, the, the things that I say intimidate a lot of men. So for somebody not to be intimidated by the way I speak or what I call my truth, it is such a thing to say, ah, this, so these things that I'm saying, they don't intimidate you? Oh, okay, good. Then let me give you an ear. Give him an ear, we talk, like we're clicking, we're gelling, you know, as we're just having conversations exchange numbers ah brothers we are always here on the phone guys <laughs> Lona. <laughs> now um after we've um exchanged numbers we started talking we met very brief our meeting we started talking and whatever and like the guy he he speaks like he's the guy like you know guys when he speaks you'll be like oh you, you, where have you been all my life oh romeo you know um i can go guys now we have to meet i think it was for the third or the yeah second or third time my brother then says okay pack your car i'll come get you sure no problem i pack my car when he's supposed to come get me my brother hey boo Ish, we have a problem. What's the problem? Um, I forgot my card and my car does not have fuel. How much money do you have on you? Okay, for me, that's a red flag. Like, how much money do I have on me in this day and age where technology is so broad? You, you, you without your card, you don't know that you can actually make things happen without a card. You're asking me how much I have. Okay. And it's a trigger, you know, because I've been vocal about financial abuse, you know. I'm like, okay, sharp. Um, I have 250 with me. It's like, yo, 250 is not going to be enough, but it's fine. Let's see what we can do. I'm like, okay, 250 is not going to be enough. And when you look at the guy, guys, the guy is so decent. He's dressed nice. He's dressed body Louis Vuitton, body Lacoste. Like, he looks like money, you know? The one thing that I learned from that situation is that just because somebody is wearing expensive clothes doesn't necessarily mean that they have money. It means that they had money when they bought those things. Because I also have a few expensive, expensive items. And it doesn't mean that in my bank account I have money which is equivalent to those expensive items that I have. But yeah, I have the items. So even on my lowest days when I'm broke, 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 those items are still there with their value. Ne? So that's a lesson number one, guys. Please, please, learn this lesson. No, Please take note. Okay, my brother, what now? We must pour petrol. Okay? And then I only have 250. And he's saying 250 is not enough. 
So I'm thinking to myself, guys, if 250 is not enough and this guy has left his card, what must happen? I'm like, oh, okay. Since 250 is not enough and you don't have a card, please make a plan. You know, then he starts calling around. I don't know what was happening. He's on the phone. The next thing is like, okay, I'm going to transfer money into your Capitec account. You must withdraw it and then we will use it. I'm like, okay, no problem. Then he deposits or he transfers a thousand rand. I'm counting. This guy is wearing expensive stuff okay put that aside let's forget about the expensive stuff for now this guy is driving an suv i'm not even driving an suv and my car needs like one point something for it to be full tank ne? so if you're driving an suv an suv literally drinks it drinks the petrol okay okay i'm like okay no problem let's see what's gonna happen here with a thousand rand and, and an suv and a date he guys he takes the money and then he goes and he pours petrol i'm not so sure how much petrol he poured i think for my 600 pay. then he goes into a shop and he buys wine for himself obviously i don't drink alcohol then he says to me so what are we gonna eat do you miss when you eat plate you know like uh takwana, you know those food, that food that people sell by the I don't know what dipite. Don't know what is dipite, guys. You know, by the street, mostly you find places where they sell um, the ana, like your chicken feet, your whatever. You know, African food, ne? So it's like most you eat. I'm like, no. Actually, Mara, honestly speaking, I do eat that, but I, I can't just be going on a date and eating that. When I feel like eating that, I eat it because I'm not. I trust me. I know that it it, it sounds fancy from a vendor girl from the village, but I'm not a huge fan of pap, you know. And all those foods, ne, they go together with pap. They work well with pap. And I'm, I'm not a big fan of pap. Okay, so only once in a while, then I'll get to indulge in those mara. When I'm with my friends and they're like, yo, what are we craving? We are craving this or something, mara. I can't just enjoy. Anytime you say let's go to do pitting, let's go to get a plate. Ah, oh, no, I'm not a plate girl, Mina. I'm not a plate girl. And the way the brother is dressed, I mean, I'm thinking, ha, oh, we are going to. Hey, <laughs> guys, I thought we were going to level seven. He looks like the level seven type of guy. Yo, oh, but anyway, even if level seven, we didn't go. But I never expected him to say, Muswena, you like plate. Where, where, where did you see me eating plate? For you to tell me what I like plate. Yo, the disrespect. Anyway. Guys, I go. I was like to him, no, I don't eat plates, Mina. Like, okay, so what are we going to eat? I'm like, if we can't eat, because literally where we are seated, there are so many restaurants around. And I mean, guys, I mean, I have a, I have a thing of of wanting to try out new restaurants when I'm driving, ne, and I'm hungry. Okay, even if I'm not hungry, when I see a restaurant that I don't know, even the name that I don't know, I'm always curious to go in there and try a new menu, ne. And, and look at the menu and try something new obviously i'm not gonna be killing myself with something which is expensive something we, like trust me now i always believe that even the most expensive and top-notch restaurants now there's always something you can afford there sometimes it's just sitting in an environment which is nice and i will never order the most expensive thing on the menu because in jail, i don't know i get there the environment is nice even if i'm ordering a salad or a starter and water and sit there yeah just for the fresh air and to feel okay this is all been chilling for the rest of my life when I now become rich you get what i'm saying oh. mm. my brother says uh no so what are we gonna eat now because i'm like thinking so many restaurants around us this guy is asking me what, what are we gonna eat i'm like you know what my brother ne? if we're not gonna be able to eat anywhere else obviously i've already done the math the money that he has with him is not amounting to anything um let's rather go eat nando's yo 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 nando's is expensive Nando, guys my jaws are like Nando's is expensive. Petrol. Nando's is expensive. You 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 called me out on a date to take me to the pizza, and then you don't have money. You don't have your card. You wanted to use my money. My money is too little. So now because my money is too little, which is two hundred and fifty, now with your money, which is a thousand rand your budget. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what this guy was thinking. Ne? But honestly speaking, he's not a guy that deserves. Like literally, there are guys by long they are. You can tell, oh, this one just wants money. So whether you must be the one who funds that. No, he's not. It doesn't even look like a guy that needs to be funded, you know. And he's way older than me for me to be, for him to be my toy boy to a point where I can be buying him. You get what I'm saying? 
He can't be my Ben 10. That's what I'm saying. He can't be my Ben 10. He doesn't look like a Ben 10. He's too old to be a Ben 10. Like, you are, you can't be a Ben 10 driving an SUV to a girl who is driving a small car. What do you mean? Hey. <laughs> hey. Anyway, the guy then goes, Nando's is expensive. I'm like, okay, no, I don't know anymore. Take me home then because what am I supposed to do? Hey, guys, the guy goes into Nando's. Guys, that, that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen on the face of the earth. Nando's then I eat my Nando's and already because I mean, once I get too hungry I just lose my appetite I'm just, I just ate you know then I keep quiet okay that night comes to an end uh, we go our separate ways I mean uh, I go be with my friend and then you know he goes and he, be, he, be, he goes and be with his friends okay then another day comes hey my brother I'm still digesting all of these things and I'm talking to my friends. I'm like, hey, I mean, I'm, the, the meth is not methane, man. This guy, this guy is the same guy who was saying to me, because that time I was I was driving a small car. So because I was driving a small car, um, I was looking into upgrading and buying a car. He was like, so what car do you want to drive? I want to drive, um, I liked a Mercedes-Benz C, not C, Mercedes-Benz, the A200, you know. He's like, no, no woman of mine is going to drive an A200. It's fine. You can drive an A200 but you need to upgrade you know you should be driving more real uh range rover uh what do you call that range rover there a range rover yeah that it's like no when are you should be driving a range rover i'm like oh yeah so if my things work out i'm gonna get you a range rover hey <laughs> me i'm thinking i have a range rover come here come here but already because after he said nando's is expensive then i was like adding i'm like no there's no way a range rover is gonna come from a guy who is saying nando's is expensive anyway it's fine let's move <sighs> he sends me a text hey guys i have to walk is to, <laughs> to walk is to see guys he sends me a text he's like uh, please buy me a time. I'm with my friend. Ne? I read the message. So you turn the phone upside down. What is this guy saying? Buy me a time. How oh, no, a blue cheek. I leave him alone. He sends me another message. Good night. I leave him. You know, because I mean, already you have asked me for a time. After you told me Nando's is expensive. After you wanted me to, to after you said my two fifty is too little, and 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 stuff. Then I'm like, okay, we'll wait. Then it says good night. In the morning, I totally ignore all those ask, asking for airtime and everything. And then I say good morning. He says, no, it's fine. The airtime that I wanted, I actually wanted to call you with it. I'm like, why didn't you just say, call me? Call me. I don't have airtime. Call me. Then I will call you. So now I must buy you a time for you to call me. Make me understand how that makes sense. And now because I blue ticked you, you now I want to explain what you wanted to do with the airtime. No, bro, we don't work like that. Okay, sharp, no problem. I leave him like that. Yeah, now this is the last kick of a dying horse. Guys, this one that I'm telling you. Hey! <laughs> last kick of a dying horse now. This is where the end of the two, two weeks relationship comes. We're supposed to travel long distance. And then when we now travel, this guy, I've already seen his tactics. So no, this guy is a problem and the finances are a problem. So I don't want to cause any problems for myself. I'm like, okay, let me just buy uh, snacks in the garage before we travel. <laughs> my guy remains in the car. He's like, yeah, you go get the snacks. I take my wallet. I go get the snacks. The guy is just sitting there in the car waiting for me in the parking lot. I'm thinking to myself, okay, he's sitting in the parking lot because he doesn't want to spend his money with the traveling, right? With the with the snacks. Okay, shut up. I get the snacks. I get him, even him, snacks. Get to the car. Okay, let's travel. We travel. This guy does not stop anywhere. We don't stop. We don't eat. We don't do nothing. We are just eating the snacks that I bought in the garage. Okay, on our way back. Now, He's taking me to West A. Mm -hmm. As we are traveling, he's like, um, Can you do you think they have cooked where you stay? I'm like, Yeah, obviously they have cooked. He's like, Oh, okay. Um, can you bring me food? You know, like the food that they have cooked where I stay. Can I bring him that food? 
because you know he he wants pap i'm like oh, okay no problem now now i'm now i'm already exiting ne? and i wanted to leave a trademark when i exit because i was like no 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 this is nonsense and i'm not gonna exit i'm gonna exit proper i'm gonna exit in a very very professional way i get to the house we're supposed to meet up like it's supposed to drop me off so that i freshen up and then we meet up again ne? i get home i found that they've cooked vele i eat i eat i eat <laughs> and then after eating i send him a text i'm like my dear there is no food in the house <laughs> i'm sorry my dear there's no food in the house they have not cooked so unfortunately i can't bring you food it's like okay uh, because they have not cooked on your way here can you buy me a muffin from a garage oh a muffin from the garage when we are sitting there's a restaurant what are you talking about i'm like oh okay let me get you a muffin i got him a muffin i gave him a muffin guys that guy ate a muffin only that day <laughs> hey a hey, brother what the lv who wants to buy me a range rover only ate a muffin because he can't go to a restaurant because because nando's is expensive i'm like I, so what's gonna happen here i must be funding this guy while we wait for or what like i'm i'm so confused guys and already this person is driving is dri you are driving an suv who is who is maintaining this suv or, or are we many you want to add on to the numbers this one will take care of the suv this one will take care of this this one will take care of that what's going on i can go guys i went and i gave him the muffin we chilled was not was that not the last day this guy saw me and i mean that i have a thing né? because i think my my biggest the one thing that i'm always anxious about né, is to meet people that i have unfinished business with so i always make sure that i close chapters i don't want somebody coming back to me after 10 years saying yeah but we never broke up yeah but you just left me like that you left me hanging then i must explain myself no I mean i will give you a proper farewell part when i leave I sent him a, I called him. Oh, I sent him a text and then he's like, no, I don't understand. Let's just talk over the phone. I call him. I'm like, my brother, listen, there's absolutely nothing that me and you can help each other with, you know, because I mean, I always believe that if a guy can't do stuff for me, it's fine. I don't have a problem. The little that I'm able to do for myself, I'm happy with, but don't be my problem on top of that like i am so comfortable with us going to a restaurant you pay for your own food i pay for my own food then we hold hands and we go home because no i'm, I'm not gonna be eaten by anybody's son hey bo, somebody's son must come and chew me up now hey bo, guys i had to send him a text message to say my brother no no where na? and i remind him of his words where na? you want to take care of me where na? You wanna buy me a Range Rover when but in the meantime I must bring you food from my house. In the meantime, I must go buy snacks. In the meantime, I must buy you airtime. Airtime, yeah, airtime. I must buy you that. Oh, over my dead body shame. There's no way. Until yo, 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 yo. Mm -mm. So Mina, I must I must do things for you and you give me dreams in return. That's how my two weeks relationship came to an end, guys. That's it. I have nothing else under general. And if you're coming from another platform, guys, this is the end. The brother not only did he say Nando's is expensive, but he also said that I must buy him airtime. He wants to use the airtime to call me. And that time he wants to buy me a Range Rover. Hmm? Hmm? Anyway, thank you for watching. See you on the next one. I love you. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell. Like, comment, share. Bye.